Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Vaughn here and I'm back with another video. This time I am going to be speaking to you a bit more about inclusive fashion as this is something that is very dear to my heart as this is actually what my fashion brand is based on. Um, so if you haven't seen uh, any of the activity to do with that on Instagram, LinkedIn, wherever, uh, please do check it out before you continue with this video just so you get more of an idea of exactly what it is I am actually talking about today. Um, so when it comes to the brand itself, I am um, doing a brand that women with uh, disabilities can also wear. So the clothing functionalities have different things that features that um, actually allow women with disabilities to be able to wear it comfortably, but without compromising on the style. And that is obviously the secret behind the idea that someone without a disability can also wear it without feeling like, oh, I'm wearing something that doesn't belong to my category. And this comes from some of the research that I've done. I did quite a lot uh, during my masters, specifically when I was looking into uh, what is already out there, as well as what people with disabilities are saying is missing um and one of the things that really came up a lot was that you know it's hard to even look for occasion wear or stuff that is comfortable suitable for their disability but also can be worn at work um and just just anywhere really so um a lot of people then resort to maybe wearing jogging pants um you know sweaters things that are not their size so a little bit bigger so that you know it, it can fit them properly and I looked at many different disabilities um, and they all pretty much said the same thing. So I basically made this Venn diagram uh, where I pretty much did like, you know, all of the, the different um, problems that arose when during my conversations with people um, for people with and without disabilities. Quite a few people did have uh, similar things to say about, you know, the zip being positioned at the back. It does make sense from a pattern cutting uh, perspective and how the garment's actually going to sit um, on you when you're wearing it. Um, but having a zip back there sometimes is the worst. Maybe if you don't have a partner or if you're really just struggling. <laughs> I just think that, you know, it made sense to also look into the needs of people with disabilities um, and to see how functionality can really meet style with my garments um, so that it can actually try its best to really cater to all of these needs that, um, that came up. And overall, obviously, it needed to look good. You would be surprised or maybe not surprised that at the moment, what is being offered in the adaptive fashion, which I don't even like that name, I don't like the idea that we should call something adaptive, that we've had to adapt it to um, a certain category of people. And I just don't think there's like any point in that. Um, I definitely prefer inclusive fashion. So I do identify this brand as an inclusive fashion brand, um, just for that idea that, you know, being able for it to be stylish, being able for it to be worn by any person in the world, really, well, any woman in the world, um, yeah it makes it so much easier to be able to, for either groups to relate um to the collection and so far the feedback is pretty positive um i think though one thing that i wanted to do was really showcase the p full potential of these garments why these garments are suitable for people with and without disabilities and how so specifically the winning i would say my staple is the blazer and the blazer itself uh, consists of zips along the sleeves uh, from the neckline all the way down to the sleeve hem. There's a double-sided zip and the magnetic zip. For the magnetic uh, side of things, it was easier for people to uh, be able to put it on without having to struggle kind of uh, putting, attaching the, the bottom of the, the, the zip. You may be able to relate actually if you've ever been outside when it's cold and uh, your hands are freezing and then now you have to zip it up and you kind of struggle. So it's that idea that you can, um, yeah, that you can actually just put that on much easier. So that it serves that purpose. Obviously, if you are ever cold wearing this blazer, it serves that purpose. But also for those with fine motor skills, not able to really grasp uh, smaller items such as zip pullers, um, very tiny buttons as well. It's the idea that they are also able to access um, a blazer like this as well. So for the double-sided zip, that one, it was actually easier for someone with a prosthetic to be able to put it on. So you just slide up the um, zips 
to the elbow area and then you know you, you kind of put it on there and then you can slide it down uh, back down while the other one can be slid, uh, slid upwards and uh, people found this way easier for that purpose but actually also for the purpose of those who are pretty much uh, paralyzed or quadriplegic or you know uh, fine motor skills it was way easier for them to put on this blazer by being able to unzip it from the top it is the idea that people don't always want to kind of struggle putting one arm in after the other uh, which allows that extra freedom the same ease also goes for the carers who can simply just lay their dependent down flat on top of the open blazer zip it back up on the sleeves and the same goes for taking it off and another one of my favorite features about this is that it one it makes it look different but also it is uh adding that comfort which is the elasticated waist now i didn't do it all the way around i wanted to still kind of leave some sort of cleanliness around the front where the buttons meet as well as having slits as well underneath just for that extra comfort as well for those sitting down now the other thing i'm offering is also the trousers uh which are fully fully detachable on the center front of each leg and that is really the idea of eradicating that whole process of putting one leg in after the other especially someone who may be paralyzed who really relies on a caregiver to be able to actually put the clothes on for them so it, it really relieves the stress from both parties really because instead of being rolled around uh, especially at the waist area and having to you know lift it up for them roll them around a little bit until it's finally on um, it's a case of literally open up the trousers sit down button it up and you're good to go not to mention that those without disabilities can use this from not just a functional perspective but also a styling perspective with the ability to leave the slits open at the center front of each leg um, along with obviously the elasticated back uh, of the waist which i have incorporated in all the designs um, because i just think elasticated uh, waist can really allow for more comfort and better fit as well um, and obviously if people are sitting in a wheelchair for example um, this could help a lot more as well and then in terms of the skirt uh, so this one is a very simple wrap over skirt i kept this one super simple um, again it's similar to the trousers where you literally just open it up sit down close it up and the i'm using specific uh fastenings for this um that have uh, a lot more grip as well as um being quite easy as well to take on and off for those with fine motor skills and it's the idea that you can you know uh, wear this with a matching blazer and uh, same for the trousers the trousers can be worn um they're available in the black and the green um, so you can wear it with the blazers there as well. There are no fastenings, zips or anything at the back of any garment. I've kept everything at the front to allow more independence for people and for just that comfort and ease to actually just wear it as well. So it's about just how can you consider this brand very easy to wear, very attractive, feminine, and you feel sexy in it and everything like that. Um, and obviously keeping that um, made to order, you can personalize these garments um, slightly to your needs. So in this case, um, someone who may have dwarfism may actually request that, actually these none of these sizes are gonna work for me. How about when you make mine, can you please make it to these measurements instead? Um, and then the other side is that, you know, maybe some people, I know some people who have um, maybe a missing arm and they actually prefer not to wear a prosthetic arm. So in this case, or even same for legs as well. So in this case, um, they can actually personalize it and be able to wear it um, or get it made the way that they, they would like. And um, they can have the sleeve missing or they could have the one of the legs of the trouser missing so that it goes accordingly. Um, I have seen some uh, people who don't uh, have prosthetics, so then they end up having to uh, kind of, you know, work with what they have. I, I've seen one where the trouser was literally like tucked in. Um, so then you have all this kind of excess uh, trouser or fabric. And yeah, it's not, not the most, it's not the nicest, um, obviously. So then in this case, what you could do is actually just purchase these uh, trousers and you know, actually write in the description that I don't need the left leg. It can stop up to the knee 
or you know something like that and then in this case it is actually very much made for the individual wearing it and yeah hopefully that could actually boost their confidence that can make them feel much sexier and everything again it's about feeling attractive feeling powerful in these garments um and yeah that's that's that really and i hope that all makes sense to you and maybe uh encourage you to maybe consider buying your own and yeah let me know if you have any comments if you've purchased it yourself and you're watching this video let me know your feedback i would love to hear more from you guys um, or if you have any suggestions of what the next collection can have do feel free to let me know in the comments below and i look forward to the next video bye guys